Hello and welcome back to Board Crazy. I am D, and I am joined today once again by these two. I'm Graham. Yeah. And I'm Will. Yeah. I'm actually happy to be here because we're finishing our adventure. That's into right. The dungeon. This is the third and final <laughs> chapter of Adventure Games: The Dungeon. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous two chapters are already up on our YouTube channel. If you want to yeah. find those, they're probably linked uh, below. If I had to guess, uh, we also have a review of this up on the channel. If you want to check that out afterwards. Uh, but yeah, so uh, last where we left off, we found Berengar, our friend Tom Berengar. MVP uh, Cassandra melted his beast, yo. True. Turns out he's evil. Uh, he's in charge of the bad guys. Now I don't think he's that bad. Yeah. yeah. Now in this chapter, we're tasked with stopping him. I'm going to have to probably get rid of my gems. I'm very sad. I have this chapter three card here. Sure. You guys want to start? I keep holding everything that your hands are going up here. All now? right, let me read it. <laughs> yes. Return adventure cards with any exclamation points. Do it. You may notice... Our table looks similar <laughs> to where we left off. Uh, all right. We can heal up to eight health points Woo! for all players. So we got four. We're down nine. So I think everybody but Will should have Will should have one un, unhealed. Why does he only do three and not uh, all of it? Because well, we only have eight. You only have eight points. So I took three. He took two. I'll oh. take the other three. Okay. He had the least, so he should still have the least because he's a fool. All right. A fool. Digging. Uh, read entry 300 and that'll get us started right. on chapter 3. Back to reading! My favorite part of the game. Hell yeah. We're literate. Alright, a longer one here, boys. You look around at each other indecisive. You still find it hard to believe that you were once part of the League of Guardians. Berengar continues unmoved. What wretched cowards you are. I don't remember how my accent went, but I'm, I'm doing that. Stewie Griffin, like that. When you learned of my plan to awaken the stone golems, a spark of rebellion was ignited in you. You suddenly found your conscience. He snorted disdainfully. As if that would have stopped you from all the other horrors that were necessary to achieve our ultimate goal. As expected, though, your plan was flawed, and we caught you before you could do any real harm. We had no choice but to erase your memory and imprison you. You may be simple-minded, but you still knew too much. His gaze then turns to the place where the beast, no, the stone golem, apparently, had perished. Your escape and defeat of the Stone Golems show that you still pose a threat to the League. But there's still an entire army of Stone Golems in the Eastern Tombs just waiting to be awoken by me. The experiment is also almost complete, and you won't stop it now. <laughs> Return Adventure Card 68 and Mission Card A2 to the backs. Take Mission Card A3. I just want to say to Berengar... Say it. Hey. Roleplay. Hey. Hey, man, I ain't hey. no simple-minded... I'm a a rep the knowledgeable. <laughs> a rep the knowledgeable. Will, what to say? I said I'm going to say to him. I'm going to say oh, okay. I'm going to do to you what Charlie Sheen did to you at the end of Platoon, <laughs> which is shoot you dead with an AK-47. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, guys. Master of the Stone Golem, Chapter Three. A beast, or to be more precise, a stone golem is defeated. But Berengar wants to awaken more of them, and only you stand in his way. Mm -hmm. Stop Berengar once and for all. All right. We have to decide now. Do you want to try to convince Berengar not to go ahead with his plans, or do you want to attack him? Don't attack him. No. Why? I don't think we're ready. I don't think... I think if we had the woman who can fight, we should yeah. do it. All right, fine. Let's convince him. Yeah, we're going to try to convince him. Finally. We're going to appeal to his good nature. Finally, we don't do the most dangerous option. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Right. You hoarsely call across to Berengar. This madness must end. <laughs> <laughs> so hoarse. <laughs> lost her voice. <laughs> You're summoning powers that you cannot control. Countless innocent people will suffer because of you. He begins to respond, but you continue quickly. Tom Berengar, your plan is doomed to fail. <laughs> the king has enough soldiers to take you and your creatures on. Berengar seems unimpressed. What a foolish lie. If your memory had returned, then you'd know that you'd bribe the king with gold and gemstones yourself. He suddenly becomes grave. And now enough of your talk, you traitor. At this... <laughs> Tom Berengar draws a bottle of white liquid from beneath Aww. his cloak and tosses it at your feet. Milk. Yes. <laughs> the bottle shatters and thick white gas begins to rise and rapidly fill the entire room. Gasping for air, you fall to the ground and your senses fade. You come When you come to again, the gas has dispersed and there's no sign of Tom Berengar. You'd better... <laughs> okay. No sign of Tom Berengar. Okay, you better hurry if you want to reach the Eastern Tomb in time. Only there can you stop the experiment before Berengar unleashes yet more horrors. 
As a group, you must give up two health points. You can divide these among yourselves as however you wish. Then I'm going to read entry K. So we can do it. Just what, you and I? All right. I don't know why Will deserves it. So. Entry K. I was hiding. I'm a little more... Oh, afraid. God above. All right. You find yourself in a very dark room with a large stone throne at its center. 113. A menacing skull hangs above the throne. 213. And huge banners hang from the ceiling to the left and right of the chair. 313. You wonder what kind of place this is. So you, he, he ran away? Yeah, you finished the last uh, yeah, yes, thing. Right? So, so it's my right. turn. Okay. Let me, uh, wait. And we're very emotional. Because yeah. Berengar meant so much to us. As our <laughs> we're very broken up about Tom Berengar yeah. being run away. Okay. Oh, that's a symbol again. Yeah. What was that before? Read it here. Yeah. All right. Oh. It's not, it's not a letter, right? We established that? It's not on your... No, it's, okay. no, it's not a letter. Um, okay. I'm going to... The mask will probably try to kill me. I'm, I'm going to go to the throne. He would go to Pop the throne. Squat. He would. The emblem of the League of the Guardians has been carved into the throne. That's the. That's what it is. Uh, do you want to sit down? Yes. Yes. You're a member. We were members, so mm. it won't eject you off. All right. It knows your butt pad. I get injured here, though. Will, you're taking the damage. That's not how it works. Drawn by the aura of power that the throne radiates, you sit down. It doesn't seem to be meant for you, though. From the moment you sit down, pain sears through your body, and you fall to the ground, you lose one health point. Great. Nice job, idiot. Yeah, I hate you so much. I'm definitely going to the mask. Okay. The giant skull on the wall stoically returns your gaze. Something glints inside its mouth. Take adventure card 28. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're a gem boy. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, what color is it? Silver. Oh, okay, so we can use those in this room. Nice. I'm going to go up to the curtain. The curtains? The curtains. The banners, Will. The banners. Look at banner, Will. Behind the left banner, you find that one of the stones is loose. Do you want to pull it out? Yes. I knew it. I don't know why you've been asking anymore. You carefully remove the loose stone and peek inside the cavity. You can only make out dirt and a few worms burrowing in the earth. You're just about to replace the stone. You notice several notches on the back of it. Take Adventure Card 37. Does anyone have Adventure Card 76? C. Mm -hmm. So we're going to read then uh, Entry 483. So what is it? Just a brick? It's an stone? old stone tablet with strange engravings. Mm. 483. Nuha studies the stone and says... I'm sure these marking trips and danger that you will encounter in the dungeon. And the cross marks the things that you better not touch. So what's it? So it's like, it's... What are we not to touch? There are two X's. In between there are like three demon schools. And then a line separating it. Well, here, you can look at it. Just head um, down to the Yeah, to I'm just, just going to go to G and wait. All right, Graham. All right, I'm going to go down to 802. You sure yes. you don't go to 502? No, 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 we're going down because we got this letter, remember? I, I said that there's stuff down there. Right? What did it say? It said, what an awful day of being on guard duty. I was ordered to dispose of some rotten crates in the sewer. One of them allegedly contained something dangerous and is marked with the symbol of the League of Guardians. Yeah, we need that thing. Still, should we check out 502 first? Yeah, but the key will probably be broken. We'll get one door out of this key. Fine, 802. Yes, then. we're going down. I went down to five. Uh, you're wrong. The silver key unlocks the trap door in the floor and you lift it open. Creaking wooden steps lead down into the darkness. You descend the steps and enter a small chamber. Take room card M and place it there. Uh, so we need more room on this side. That's really the reason. Guys, I I don't know if my stone slab indicated anything about three skulls. So probably touch those. Okay. So we're to avoid... Which skulls? Uh, it just says X's. There's X's around them. Which ones? It's um, the top and the... Uh, the second, the top of the middle? Yeah, top the lowest the skull is okay. Yeah. Seems that way. Yep. yep. All right, well, let's assume that's... Okay, anyway, where were we? Uh, what a horrific sight. Several chains hang from the ceiling and various torture implements stand ready for use. Ooh. As if physical pain weren't enough, several skulls <coughs> stare down at those unlucky enough to end up here and thus also torment the soul. Even you feel a little queasy and struggle to tear your gaze from the hollow eye sockets that grow larger and larger and threaten to swallow you up. Read room M. Ooh. At the room center is a stretching rack, 506, and you can make out numerous iron implements hanging on a wall behind it, 606. Three skulls hang to your left, one, zero, one, one two, and 306, and then behind, beside a loose chain, 406. There's a large grating in the floor, 706. What else is new? Uh, suddenly you have a vision. As through a veil, you see a different room. You see skulls there, too, but considerably larger ones. Below them, a ceremony is taking place. From a, a distance, you watch Berengar, surrounded by high-ranking members of the League. All are clad in dark robes. 
Your attention is drawn towards an ancient, highly ornamented scepter in the middle of the circle. Then you can hear Berengar say, We hereby renounce the old ways of the League of Guardians. Enough of the moderation. From today, we shall awaken the monsters ourselves. Brothers and sisters, let us banish the scepter of our founder and with it his traditional teachings. Take Adventure Card 85 and read it aloud. Oof, a lot going on Damn, here. Damn, this is yours. To be or not to be, mm -hmm. slowly you realize that this vision is a part of your lost memories. It belongs to the time when you were a submissive member of the League of Guardians. Oh, submission. At the last moment, you catch a glimpse of what has been. If you are a Koro, read 152. If you're, uh, okay, so 352. Yeah. 352? Yep, 352. You say to yourself, I recognize that scepter from my research. What was it about again? It harbors great power. That's it. It will wipe anyone who attempts to lead the League on a path of evil off the face of the earth. We need that thing. We should probably find it. Yeah. All right, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I stumble down all the stairs. I enter the room, I see a vial, and I immediately go for the vial. 606. 606. Yes. You love your vials. Mm -hmm. I'm a vial man. Woman. On the back of the wall is a shelf laden with all sorts of horrific implements and a little vial. Take adventure card 43. Hell yeah, I do. Nice. Drinking you, it. You've lost all your vials. You must be. I know, I'm very depressed. But I got a new one. Oh, yes. Yellow potion. Oh, it's yeah. Regia, yo. We can oh, finally let 404 free. Snap. Or do other things. Let's not rush to that. I'm going to go to 306. Nice. The little skull? Mini skull? Well, we can try to maybe get this. Oh, yeah. A small, white, shimmering mother of pearl tile glints in the nasal cavity of the lower skull in the dim light. Take adventure card 53. Ooh, ooh, pearl tile. Strange object made of mother, mother of pearl. What is in a mother of pearl tile? Tile, yeah, it's like a uh, hexagon. Okay, we're gonna need that. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to open up 502. Hell yeah, you are. The finally, the key fits. The heavy wooden door swings open with a creak to reveal a oh. passageway carved in rough stone. Place room card L. To the right of room card G. I thought it was gonna be N. I grabbed the wrong one. After a few dozen paces, you follow a staircase down into a vast underground chamber. A deep ravine runs down the middle, 410. Digging has also been going on here. Heaps of earth lie scattered around here and there, 210. Suddenly, a few rays of light shine down from the high ceiling and illuminate the chamber, allowing you to, s to make out a well, 110, and a statue, 310, at the center, chamber center. Well, I'm going to go search the loose chain at 406. A tangle of chains hang from the ceiling. A, mess, a, a rusty metal hook hangs from, from ah, hangs from one of the chains. You shudder when you contemplate what they've been used for. Take I want a, the hook. Take Adventure Card 36. I've got what I need to get that crap yes. out of the grave. Taking that hook to that grave. I hope it's that. Metal hook, yo. Yes. Thank goodness. All right, so I have that hook. So I believe, uh, D, you're next. Okay, I'm going to do you a favor, Will. I'm going to look at 706 and see if there's something there that's valuable. Smart. Going by the smell, this passageway leads to the sewers. Using a little force, you manage to open the heavy grating, take room card N, and place it below. <laughs> the sewers is where they put the dangerous crate. Should we move everything <laughs> up? Below a ladder recessed in the wall, you can make out a dark passageway with a sewage channel running down the middle. The passageway uh -huh. splits into a left... 211 and right 311 fork. Three musty boxes are stacked to your right, 4, 5, and 611. You can also hear a soft murmuring, 711, and a scurrying of rats at 111. Okay. 711. So this is 211, and 311 t takes you into here. You're up, Graham. Graham, you still got stuff in this room, and then obviously you got you got new stuff There's down so here. so much, and we still haven't finished all this. It's exciting. Stuff. We usually have nothing to do. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to check out this guy, 310. Three, 310. The statue, well, you get ready for the next thing. The statue seems to give you a determined look from beneath the hood that it that is drawn low over its face. A memory stirs deep within you, and you suddenly remember who the statue represents. Wolfred, the founder of the League of Guardians. The statue must be hundreds of years old. Do you have adventure card 76? Yes. Yes. Then we're to read entry 610. <laughs> When Nuha catches sight of the chamber and the statue, she exclaims, Look closely at the sun's rays here. If we direct them at the right angle, they will shine exactly on the archway beyond the ravine. Okay. All right. Do we have a mirror? No, not yet. I have a mother of pearl tile. I don't think that's it. All right, I'm mm -hmm. leaving here for now. Okay. I'm going all the way back to the original room. All right. And I'm taking 36 through the grade at 401. Finally. And I'm going to mirror. try to hook what is down there. Maybe it's a mirror. 
No. Not a bad idea, but with the hook alone, you won't be able to reach far, far enough. <gasps> you need something longer. I told you, you need like a chain or something. You gotta find those six. All right, you wanted the torture rack? Yeah, I love. Nope, you really don't want to sit down on it, just the thought makes you queasy. Great. That was a good turn. Graham. Yeah, do it. 210. A mother of pearl tile lies on top of the rubble. Take adventure card 63. I'm finding all the tiles. Maybe we can combine the tiles. It seems like it's probably where we're going to be ending up here. You want to give it to me? All right. Thanks. So he just gives that to you. Oh, it's bigger. No, I'm going down to the basement. Okay. I climb through the sewer. Great. Uh, I'm going to go... Maybe one of those boxes is a To box change. 611. I'm going to start opening boxes. So wait, which is... Where do we want to go? We need to be careful about... Well, the skull tablet let us know something. The crate is so rotten that you can easily reach through the soft wood. Take adventure card fifty. I'm gonna just search these crates. I'm gonna find us a I'm gonna find us a stick. Come on, chain. It's a jewelry box. Ooh. Guys, okay, inside. It's a small treasure sh chest that is safely locked. It has a crescent moon lock. Does anyone have a crescent nope. moon symbol? No. Nope. Maybe it's, the rats are carrying something. You did six eleven? I did six. I'll do five eleven. Put me at five eleven. With a little patience, you manage to break the damaged side of the crate open and enough to <laughs> take a look inside. Instead of riches you hope for, a centipede comes out and bites you. I lose two health points. Two? Yeah. Oh my god. Is that two. the dangerous chest they were talking about? I don't think we found that one yet. I'm going to four. Oh, that's Graham's turn. I'm going to 110. Mm. Hell yeah, he is. He's going to climb in, never to be seen again. <laughs> The stone wall, stone well, is very solid. It is not particularly deep, though, and almost empty. Catching a movement out of the corner of your eye, you draw back. Was that a snake at the bottom? Backing away, you carefully take a closer look from a safe distance. Phew, just a piece of old rope. Take adventure card 49. I need that rope, Graham. Yes. Just give it right to him. I need that rope. Nope, I'm holding on to it. Seriously. Well, we're not in the same room. Trade me. I want... Jewelry box. I want metal hook. No, 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 no. <laughs> just, hey, you can have the jewelry box. No, I don't actually want the jewelry box. I have so much over here. Oh, my God. All right, Give fine. me uh, a heart. Okay. All right. I'm going to have one of my hearts. <laughs> cool. All right. I tell the uh, I'll be back, and then I run back up. Are you going to combine those two? I'm combining the rope and the metal hook. You deftly thread the rope through the hook's eye and secure it tightly. Turn those two cards and take 51. Does anyone have adventure card 74? Nope. Uh, I don't. I bet that's 74 right there. One of those guys is 74. He's like a tinkerer. Yeah. Right. Wait, what was the card? Uh, 71? 74. Uh, 70, so 51. Take 51. Take 51? Mm-hmm. Here it is. Rope I got a rope with a hook. Just can't get this scene. Well, it's my turn now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to try it. 411. <laughs> Lava. The top, top of the crate cra is a big crack in its side. Reach in and discover a large mother of pearl tile. 56. Hey, there you go. That's convenient. Whoa, that's a big one. Whoa. What have you... Are you are, are the you, only thing I haven't done is, is the 4, 10, but I feel like that's kind of pointless at... Maybe right not. Now. Or come down here and check out like 7-Eleven. I'm going to check out... Get a slushy. 1-Eleven. Oh, get rats. Okay. Interesting. This seems dangerous. Yep. Pack of rats scurries in the corner. Your stomach begins to rumble, and you ponder for a second what roasted rat might taste like. A squeak draws you from your daydream, and you look down, feeling threatened by your presence. One of the rats is biting you on the calf. <laughs> your cry of pain echoes down the passageway, startling the rat and causing it to flee. You look after it angrily. I'm going to get you, you shout, chasing after it. The cheeky rat knows its way around here, and you sustain multiple injuries during the chase. You've almost caught up with it when you slip and go sprawling. Unfortunately for the rat, you manage to catch it with your flailing arms and knock it unconscious. Fortunately, nobody saw you. So what are you going to do with the rat now? You lose one health point and take adventure card 46. You got an unconscious rat? Oh, boy. Seems quite harmless. Well, you have a pet now, Graham. Well, we can maybe eat it. What should I name him? Uh, well, I... Do we have a, a cooking source anywhere? Why would we kill it? To eat it and get help oh, back. Oh, we might need to send it as a distraction at some point. Mm. Or we could throw it down the ravine and see how deep it is. Rope hook, 51. Rope down the hook. hole Perfect at 401. Name. Rope Hook the Rat. That's his name. 51401? Rope Hook is the name of the rat. Yes. I am reaching for that. You slowly lower the hook attached to the rope Please through the grating down the sewers. It's a snake. Maybe you'll be able to catch it's something with wheels. it. Moments later, your improvised fishing rod does indeed catch onto something solid. 
You carefully draw the rope back up again and examine your catch. What you adventure it? card 60. <gasps> Please, God. Need something cool. It's a Coca-Cola bottle. Guys, it's a I found a scepter. Wasn't that the scepter that kills the guy? I mean, a scepter kills the guy. It has the, it has the symbol. It has the symbol. It's a highly worded. Why does someone put that in there? <laughs> they were hiding it. Baron Gar's like, I'm getting rid of it. All Throw right. it in the dungeon hole. Hmm. Where up here was the, the, the light? 310. 310. I'm going to try. It. Oh, make it out of the shield or something. I'm going to try. Maybe, maybe if I just try to combine two of them. Uh, you combine 53 and 63 to start. In the right light, the two Mother of Pearl tiles shine brightly. You notice that they've been cut differently. So they do shine. Okay. I wonder. We're onto something. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't, Graham. That's not nothing. Graham, Graham, Graham. What's he going to do? What's he going to do when he comes for you? Two I'm going to 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Slush. Peering through the rusty iron grating on the wall, you can make out a prisoner in the half-light of the cell. Oh. She mutters to herself incessantly in a melodic voice. Food, food, food. Tasty bread, steaming hot soup, crunchy beetles, something to chew. Do you have Adventure Card 75? Nope. As you approach the cell, the prisoner crawls over to the iron grating and stares at you wordlessly. Take Adventure Card 87 and read it aloud. Here you go, Graham. A spark of recognition. Something tells you that it is important... Wait, something tells you that it is important which one of you talks to her, and thus you call the others. Place all figures on room card N. Who knows how she will respond? Who will talk to her? Ooh, who are we going to have to talk you to her? You will? What's your thing? I'm the attentive. Yes. Maybe, yeah. So let's do Cassandra, 461. I say, I walk up to her and I go, hey, girl. Nice. You, the prisoner shrieks, you work for the League. Your ragged clothes don't fool me. You worked in the laboratory on those terrible experiments and prepared the potions for Tom Berengar. Leave me alone. Without warning, she lobs a stone at your head. Only when you can credibly assure her that you're in prison here, too, does she calm down a little. You lose one health point, but we're going to keep reading. Okay. Okay, so she speaks. Well, you ask... Who are you and what are you doing down here? Still a little suspicious, she replies in a gruff voice. I'm Serona. Not long ago, I was a member of the League of Guardians. I thought we were going to research the secrets of the forgotten alchemy. And indeed, we did discover a number of ancient remedies. But one day, I learned that our experiments were merely a part of Berengar's plan. All he actually cared about was how he could awaken the stone golems beneath this castle and seize control of the kingdom. I swore I would not let that happen and search for a way to stop him. I recently discovered that the Dark Crystal, with the inscription that he needs for the crucial experiment, can be destroyed by pure sunlight. Before I, but before I can do anything, I was found out and thrown in this dungeon. She becomes more animated. Even if Berengar has already awakened a stone golem, he can still be stopped. Please let me help you. You'll need to find something to help me get out of this cell first. The only weak metal in, is the only weak point is this grating. Aqua Regia is no use here, though, as it only dissolves the noblest of metals. Maybe we can use Dragonfire to blast out the rusty bars? You eye Serona in disbelief. Did you just hear her right? Dragonfire? Not from a full-grown dragon, of course, but maybe you can find a young dragon or even an egg. They like dark places and give off quite a lot of heat. I'll see what I can do. As you turn to go, she thinks of something else. Wait! There's something very important somewhere down here. A constant hum sometimes fills the air and walls. And one of the guards who patrols here muttered something strange. Three dazzling discs from large to small. The numbers on their side will unlock all. That's easy, says Duma. You must find three white discs of different shapes, arrange them in size order, then count the number of sides on each disc. You should then be able to use the three-digit number to activate the machine that guard that the guard mentioned. So from large five, to small? Seven, four? Not from large to small. Oh. Four, seven, five. No, eight. It's an eight. Eight. Oh, 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 from, wait, from large to small? Like, largest stone to small? So four, yeah. four, eight, five. Three. Who's in 105? 105. What was he again? He, he's the one that wants to be free. I forget what his name is. What's he doing? I don't understand what he's doing. I'm going to go let the guy out in 105. Okay. That's what I'm going to go do. What's I'm going to use my that? Aqua Regia. What's the number? 43. With slightly trembling hands, you pour the aqua reggae over the lock. Uh, the liquid barely has touched the pressure's metal when it begins to bubble in. Uh, yeah, yada, yeah, yada, yada. Off. 
Uh, but then the door is open and Monty steps out. Thank you so Monty. very much. Free at last, he says with a sigh. Uh, please allow me to accompany you. I've worked in the mines and passageways for so long, and my knowledge of them is sure to help you. Return Adventure Card 43 to the box and take 74. All right, D. Uh, is there anything up here we haven't done? Well, no, we need to just go down the tunnels. I'm going to come original, go to 311, see what I find. You decide to take the right fork. After just a few steps, the light from the main passageway fades, and in a faint light you can make out that the passageway splits again. The loud roar of water echoing off the tunnel walls makes you jittery. One wrong step here could have serious consequences. Are you sure you know where you're going? If so, continue to feel your way in the dark and read entry 145. If not, read room card N. I'm going to return to room card N. I'm just going to go back. I'm not going to go any further. I don't know where I'm going. All right, Graham. I just have that map. Yeah, 211, yeah. Oops, I should look at that. You decide to take the left fork and feel your way along the passage in the dark for quite some time. Suddenly, you hear rumble and without any warning. The ceiling begins to collapse on you. A uh, sharp rock falls on your back and cry out in pain. Let's get out of here before the tunnel buries you alive. Return to the starting point in room N. You lose two health points. For all. Guys, this is the map. It tells you where to go and where not yeah, to go. Well, so you do know where to go down 311. Yeah. Next time, I'm going to take Monty, and I'm going to be like, Hey, Monty, where does 311 lead? And then we're going to go down 311. All right, Monty. fine. Monty and I are best friends now, is what I say to you guys All right. as I lead by. Room, I ran 145. You reach another fork in the tunnel. Do you want to go to the left or right? What is it? Doesn't right takes you down to here, and left takes you up to here. So probably left, then. Left. Right? Yeah, there's that, there's that marker, like a tool. What is it? What is it? What do I get? What do I get? Don't do 45. You once again reach a fork in the tunnel. Left or right? Left. No, right. no, no. no right, right. right, right. You get lost in oh. the darkness and what? Oh, no, no, no. You wanted to go left. You do Why? left and then you want to go right. Yeah, it's it's going here. Oh, left, oh all right. Okay. Left and then We're, we're right. going to do that again. Yeah. Find yourself at the fork in the passageway. Go left or right? <laughs> right. Now you want to go right. Yes. 946. After some time, you reach a stone door. You push on it with all your might, and it swings open. Behind is a vast chamber carved out of rock. Take room card O and place it to the right of room card N. Graham, let me see your O face. Place your figure on O. <laughs> to the right? Yes. All right. Uh, part of this chamber is flooded with water, but it seems to only be knee-deep. The perfect opportunity to wash off at least the worst of the dirt from the sewer. As you wash, uh, that's, that's Will, always bathing, uh... <laughs> You catch sight of something shimmering in the water, 414. There's something. There's an opening in the vaulted ceiling high above you, 114. A trickle of water flows from a hole at 314. And uh, the mechanical uh, a mechanical device has been built into the wall, and you can hear it creaking softly at 214. I assume that's what we need. That's the numbers probably for. where I need to go, yeah. All right, well, that's the end of my turn. Do your up. Okay. I'll go to 214. What's lovely here? Uh, your attention is drawn to the device's letter levers. Notice warns, do not adjust the water pump. Below it are three cogs, each of which bear the numbers 0 through 9. Uh, with the right combination, you can activate the device. Do you want to try entering a three-digit code? Then uh, read the six-digit entry XYZ214, completing the three-digit... Okay, sorry. Yes, again. do it. It's four, eight, five. You adjust the combination on the little cogs. Shortly thereafter, you can hear an audible click in the device as it noisily starts up. The trickle that previously flowed out of the wall turns into a raging torrent, causing the water level in the chamber to rise noticeably. Oh, great. Let's get out of here, you shout, and make for the door. The water is already up to your knees by the time you reach the mighty stone door and close it behind you. After a while, the chamber has been filled with water. It then seeps through the opening in the ceiling and gradually begins to fill the ravine. Place all character figures on room card O or on room card N. Oh, we just did... Such a premature... Return? Yeah, well, return adventure cards 53, 56, and 63 to the box. Oh, man. God as well dang as it. We should have explored the room oh. more, well, D. I mean, I, we're not going to be able to open the jewelry box now, which certainly has points for us at the end of the game. How oh, am I supposed to know that? Oh, you idiot. Then uh. replace room card... Oh, this is going back. Replace room card L with room card B. The ravine is filled with water, and you can now reach the stone archway at 510. Graham. Going to 510. Congratulations. Uh, now that the ravine has been filled with water, you can easily swim across. You emerge uh, from the water beneath the dark stone archway and squeeze through. Uh, you finally found the tomb in the eastern wing. You shudder when you think of the terrible power that Berengar wishes, wishes to unleash here. Take room card P, place it to the right. 
Several ancient tombstones lie, lie in the cavernous chamber at 515. Each of them is adorned with mysterious engravings. At the chamber's center is a basin made from dark rock bearing an inscription at 415. Two gargoyles flank the entrance, 115 and 215, and you spot a third on the wall at 315. Mm. So which gargoyles are off limits? The oh. Right and left. And where are you going to go? 515? Sure, I'll do 515. The engravings on the tomb depict a fearsome monster. A uh, closer look at the tomb's carvings make your hair stand on end, and you turn away with a shudder. You dread the thought of that Berengar might actually manage to awaken these creatures. I Is one a dragon? No, these are just the golems. Your turn. I will go to 215. Oh, man. Hopefully. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, the stone gargoyle's <clears throat> mouth cavity extends deep into the wall. You fearlessly reach inside and take adventure card 48. Please be a dragon. Oh. Crap. It's a coconut. It's a coconut. Coconut! Great job, Will. Ruined the game. Graham, why don't you throw your rats into one of these holes? What, 48? 48. It's a pendant with a moon shaped uh, thing. What's that open? Oh, your box. Remember when Will was complaining for like. I'm okay now with everything. Take I'm it. okay with everything now. You're welcome. Graham. All right. I'm going to 115. No. no. 415? 415. You draw closer to the large stone basin at the center of the chamber. It is made from an unfamiliar type of dark rock and bears a strange inscription. This is where Berengar is going to perform his alchemical experiment to awaken the stone golems. If only there was a way to destroy the basin. Do you have adventure card 74? Yes. Yes, Monty the Miner. Well, you do. We, we all do. It's like, all right, These fine. people are not, like, he's just in the room with if us. If so, read 615. I'll read 615 just this once. He's like, you need a, you need an unconscious rat and a rope hook. You guys got that? Well, like, you <laughs> hoarsely call a... Cr- uh, nope, that's not the right entry. 615, there we go. We hoarsely call again. Monty studies the basin and inscription with a look of concern on his face. The stone that this basin is made from is extremely dangerous. A few years ago, when I was digging deep in the mines, I found a small piece of it. If it is exposed to sunlight, it begins to smoke and then explodes a short time later. Be warned. Okay. So we want to blow it up? Scepter. The scepter? Well, we need sunlight. I was say we you need get sunlight, sunlight from the, with the scepter. Well, there's, there's light coming through that hall, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. In it? We need to redirect that sunlight. Well, you're up, Will. You want to try to... Maybe I would like... combine 60 with no, 310. No, open, open the thing. Oh, fine. Open the thing. And give D the scepter. No, I want to keep the scepter. I found it. It's mine. What's the combination? I'm going to give D this oh, stuff. Oh, come on. And then I'm going to say 60 and 415. What are you talking about? I'm giving you that 310. Three, oh, you're doing 60 and 415? Well, what? no, where's the light? Where do I need to go collect light from? You can't Sunlight. do that. This is your action. If it's what you're going to... Are you, are you giving these to no, me? No, I'm giving you those oh, things. Oh, okay. It's so on your turn. You can open 60 that. and 310, you mean? That's where the sunlight is, 310. Are you sure I should do that? That's what it said. Something about redirecting the sunlight. Well, we're in there, though. Maybe we should wait. Nope, I'm doing no. it. No, 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 no. Wait. Why? I'm firing if a light in. Explodes, we'll get hurt. I'm oh waiting now. God. Fine. I'll go. I'm going to leave. Okay, I'm going to go here. I don't trust you. I want to get some distance. Uh, I'll, then I will open up that 4850. You're opening up the box with the, with the pendant. Yep. Uh, insert it. Locks, uh, lock opens with a soft click to reveal its contents. I'll take adventure card 54, please. A dragon egg? Dragon I egg? It's a, I think it's a coconut. It's oh, a mirror. Crap. Darn it. Now I just did ev- I wasted everything. I waste all my moves. Yeah, you do. Do you want to give that to me D. now? What would you do with it? Shine it on 310. Fine, have Bam. it. Bam. All right. I'm going to do 54 and 310. Balancing the mirror on the in the statue's hands so that it remains there provo- proves quite tricky. You finally manage it, though, and carefully step back a few paces. Just at that moment, another beam of sunlight shines down from above onto the mirror. It is reflected across the water towards the gloomy archway so that the light shines on the eastern tomb and the dark stone of the well and its inscription are lit up. At first, smoke rises from the inscription, then from the uh, entire well before it begins to glow. Moments later, it bursts into flames and there is a powerful explosion that knocks you to the ground. All those currently on room... P are thrown back to room B and lose one health point. Well, we weren't. We were all. You're B. welcome, audience. <laughs> <laughs> I would have killed you. As you. Oh, we. Oh, Monty, sorry. No, he's God. with whoever he's with. <laughs> Monty's standing. He's like, inspecting it. As you come to, you peer through the cloud of dust over toward the archway, dazed. You can't make anything out 
beyond it anymore. The destructive force has buried the cavern with the tombs entirely under the mountain. The tremors have also caused the mirror to fall down and appears to have sunk into the well. It's nowhere to be seen. Return to adventure cards 27, 28, 37, and 54, as well as ring card P. Well, we didn't explore that room fully either. There were other heads that we could have reached into. We're not going to get many points for this chapter. Because <laughs> we didn't get any gems. Oops. No, the other, no, those, heads, the other heads were bad. bad. Yeah, They were? Yeah. Oh, that's right. We had the, the stone tablet that told us that. Mm-hmm. Guys, I remember these things. That's why you have me here. I'm the MVP. Go to what the exit. Do? Don't, yeah, didn't we? We win? have to defeat Berengar. We destroyed his uh, golems, but we still have to get oh. him. Yeah, but if we go to the I'm exit... I'm going to go throw be... the unconscious rat at Berengar. <laughs> Genius. If we go to the exit, like he'll probably be like, oh, okay, bye, and we'll kill him. Okay, you've successfully thwarted Berengar's plans to awaken the stone golems. You can now leave the dungeon, though he's unlikely to let you get away so easily. Yeah, we're leaving. Uh, take adventure card 66 and place it face up on room card F. <gasps> it's Berengar. It says, uh, you only have four turns left. After every turn, turn this card 90 degrees clockwise. I don't know what direction that is. And then when the card is back in the original position, read entry 500. Oh, boy. So here's what it says. Place all of our uh, guys in room F. Yeah. And then we have to read entry 412. Upon reaching the drawbridge's antechamber, you quickly conceal yourselves in the shadows. For you can already see Berengar blocking your way on the drawbridge. This is now your last turn to return to the dungeon again. Last chance to return to the dungeon again. You have four more turns to play. Turn adventure card 66, 90 degrees in a clockwise direction after each turn. If Berengar stands upright on the drawbridge again after four turns, then you must face him. Then read entry 500. Yeah. It's my turn, right? Yeah. I'm going to poke him with the scepter. Okay. 6066. Berengar flinches as he sees the scepter. That's all it says. What? That's all it says. Maybe. So, all right. Turn it. Hold on. No, clockwise. clockwise. I don't know. I honestly don't know what direction <laughs> so that is. Bad. All right. So. Well, all right. Any, um, again. I got a rope hook and a rat. That's fine. Maybe once we get to the entry when he's back up, then that'll have a bigger effect. Do we need keys? We have a rope with a hook. Oh, wait. Who was hungry? Someone was hungry. I can give them the unconscious rat. Someone was hungry? Wasn't it 7-Eleven hungry? She talked about food, but she doesn't want the rat. Maybe she does. Maybe if you give her the rat. Go go give her the rat. Maybe try the rat with... Try try uh, that with the the rope hook. hook. Yeah, maybe. I'll say at the end of my turn with the scepter, I gave someone the rope hook. Give it to me. I'll do it. I'm up next. All right. All right. Move me down there. I'll try 51 with 7-Eleven. Yeah, go leverage that hook. You know, she said a dragon would require to, to destroy it. We, uh, they had a chance to get one, and then you blew up the that room. Seems like it seems like, that, that seems like too much. You hit the rusty bars, try pulling on them, they don't budge. All right, well. All right. Well, she's stuck. Um, what was the deal with 211? Is it just, it's just all bad news? Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just a no yeah. fire zone. All right. Graham. Well, but the whole area under there is destroyed. Right, right. Or could I take a different passage? No, you could try to go 311 again. Try to go that last passage. All right, I'm going to try that. The spider web, which probably won't end well, but all right. We're going to try it. All right. So 311, and then... Give him the, the rope hook. I'm going to take a right, and a then a left. Right, Give him the rope hook, in case he needs it. 145. Take the rope hook. Take the rope hook. You never know. Many need to swing. So you're taking a right and a left. Passageway goes on for some time, then opens out into a vast chamber full of spider webs. As you examine the chamber more closely, your entire body starts to tingle. When you look down, you see that you're covered in tiny little hairy spiders. You uh, shake them off, but some of them are already bitten you. You lose a health point. So, uh, those, This place certainly isn't for arachnophobes. Why are they here? You normally like it far warmer. These words have barely left your lips when you begin to feel warmth on your skin. After a brief search, you come upon something quite fascinating. Take adventure card 61. Hey, Graham, is it a dragon? Then you return to your starting point on, on, and... <gasps> Holy scaly egg. hell! So where's anything? A strange scaly egg made from stone. Uh, give the wheel. All right, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. He turns. Mm-hmm. I come down. I'm going to take this scaly egg. What's the number? 61. Yeah. 61, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. It's really a dragon's egg. She looks... Uh, from you to the egg in, in amazement. Wherever you found it, you're going to have to hatch it now. <laughs> it needs warmth. Easier said than done. What are you going to do to find these sufficiently hot fire, you ask? She looks uncertainly and then shrugs. So she's, well, a little late. We're not going to do it? We can't. We well, can't. He's about, to, he's about to attack. up. 
Oh, that's four turns. How are we gonna? Where are we gonna find them warmth anyway? Candles? I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe. No, that's not it. Because there's no sunlight. number. There's, there's no, no number. number. Yeah, sunlight, sunlight, maybe. Whatever. Let's go back to five hundred. Gets back up there, boys. In is nigh. Just as you want to go for it, you spot two shells in the shadows. Take adventure card ninety-two. How odd. Guys, yeah, I got some coconut. <sighs> I don't. I don't. Who's up? It's my. It's, it's my you. Turn. No, it's I mean, not. Well, it was your turn. My turn ended, so it's your turn. Oh, you take the coconut. Okay, fine. I'll take some coconuts. How odd! But now it is time to stop Berengar. Do you have adventure card sixty-two? Nope. Because we didn't do this thing. I'm sure. No. If so, then read that. Otherwise, read entry six hundred. Check how many health points your group has still has in total. Two. Do you still have six or less health points as a group? If you have six or less health, less health points as a group, uh, take ending card E2 and read it aloud. If you have more, then we take an adventure card. Uh, we have less. Wow, we only have two. E2, huh? Under the cover of darkness, the escape from the dungeon has taken its toll on you. The battle with the stone gall and the devious traps, they have all left their mark. So facing Baragar and the battle could be the end of you. You decide to wait for the cover of darkness instead in an attempt to escape unseen. Read 612. Read entry 612. If we don't stop Berengar now, then all will be lost in vain. You angrily kick a stone away with your foot and flinch in pain as one of your wounds throbs. How can we possibly stop Berengar when we can hardly take care of ourselves? What's the hurry? The stone golem has been destroyed and the tombs are buried, and it's going to take a while for Berengar to rally his guards again. You're right. Let's wait until nightfall, then head for the nearest town to alert the watch. You hesitate a moment longer. You don't like to leave the battle with Berengar to someone else, even if you have thwarted his plans. You patiently wait until nightfall, and after a while, Berengar gets fed up with waiting. Muttering angrily, he stomps back into the castle. Wretched cowards. What more can you expect of such traitors? It's a miracle that they even managed to defeat the stone golem. Tomorrow I'll find those cowardly guards. I'll give them a good talking to. Make off at the very first sight of danger. When you can no longer hear his voice, you set off for the town. Despite your ragged appearance, no one believes you when you first arrive. But when you drop a few mentions of gemstones in into the conversation, this abru changes abruptly. Just After just a few days, you find yourself back at the entrance of the castle, this time with a sizable troop of ar armed men. There's no sign of Berengar, though, and you hope that he will never return with another plan. Read entry 400. We got the bad ending. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the adventure. Make a note of how many points you've received or lost through the adventure cards bearing this symbol. Exclamation point. For each health point, you will receive another point. Two points. Note down your chapter score in the manual. This is your score for this chapter. Take ending card E5. You put... Uh, da, da, da. So we have to sum up our scores. 19. And you receive two points... Oh. For each of the following adventure cards, if they are in your possession. So you get two for 18. Anyone have 18? No. 47? No. 52? No. 60. We have 60. We have the scepter. Okay. Good. 62? Mm -mm. 70? No. 71? No. 73? No. 74? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 75? No. 76? Yes. Yeah. So that's another four there from those two. Uh, 77? Nope. 89? 92 is the last one we could have, I think. 81, 89, 81. Nope. nope. So we got what? Three of those? Three. The yep. scepter and then the two people. The so dragon's egg wasn't one of those? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that's six more? Mm hmm Okay, hold on. Okay, anything else? If Adventure Car 90 is still on Room Card R, he is. Another two more points. Then we add up all our points and look up our achievements in the manual. 27 points. Which is probably not good, if I had to guess. Probably not. Let's find out. We kind of rushed. Three stars out of a possible six. Uh, Could have been worse. That, that's the 20 to 29 point range. Uh, not bad. It is great how you brave the dangers and even manage to snatch some treasures. Very good. <laughs> uh, we're a few points shy of uh, getting a four-star performance. Well, that's more for us to know for the next time. And we oh, play. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, we kind of we kind of rushed. I feel like recording maybe didn't help us. No, but it is what it is. You know, I don't feel like I, I would have played that any differently, honestly. Well, I might not have immediately gone to the stuff. I might yeah. have explored more. I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah, we definitely would not have flooded that room. Might have found. Well, we didn't know it was going to flood the room. Yeah. No. Also, we freed. Like people. I said, I don't know if we would have done that any differently. I think we yeah. just well, maybe, got excited. Maybe not. But yeah. Oh man. So that was the Adventure. end of Adventure Games: The Dungeon. 
Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share, and hit the notification bell for, uh, you know, all of our future videos. You can uh, check out our social media. Follow us on those. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all linked to below. Uh, and then uh, Wednesdays, we typically do reviews. Our review for this game is actually already up on our channel, which you can go... Uh, it's probably linked in the description as well, but you can go it is, search yeah. it out if you want. Uh, yeah, so then, again, maybe some spoilers, but that's not an issue if you watched all three of our uh, playthroughs. Uh, yeah, and I think that's going to do it. I think we did okay. Hey, look, we have an unconscious rat named Ropehook. We did and... not bad. <laughs> yeah. That's what the book says. That makes us true winners. Mm-hmm. Unconscious. All right. Winner. Well, till next time, everybody. Ugh, boy. I'll dab it on. Hold on. Until <sighs> next time, everybody. Toodaloo. Bye. See you next time.